Hey everybody. We're just gonna wait a little while. It's a couple minutes before noon. Let's see if I can pull up my chat. There we go. Hi, Ashley. I'm trying to see if this is, I think it's close enough. Yeah. Hi, Carol. Hi, Kari. Hey, is it Deanna or Diana? Hi, Pamela. Hi, Sylvia. How are you guys doing? Hi, Beverly. Can you guys hear me? Oh, Deanna. Okay. That's what I thought. I, was, I wasn't sure, though. I think today... Um, <clears throat> hey, Heidi. Hi, Melissa. I'm doing good, guys. Thanks for asking. Thank you. Um, I think today we're going to at least make a bracelet, but might design a necklace as well. And as you can see, we're going to be going with Christmas colors. Hi, Maria. Hi, Elaine. Woohoo! I'm happy too, Ashley. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I'm just going to wait for a couple more minutes to get start. Well, it is noon now. Hi, Janine. Oh no, I lost my needle. Okay, there it is. Hi, Brenda. So I've gotten the question a lot, like how do you um, do uh, knotted necklaces? Thank you, Lynn. Um, and I thought today, I'm not gonna do a necklace because they take a lot of time, but we'll at least show the technique and we'll make a bracelet. Um, a Christmas bracelet. I got out some uh, crystals in red. Yummy. And bicones. I never use bicones, so we're going to use those as spacers today. And then um, I have these matte green tiger eye beads from Vince Wet uh, Stone Store. You guys can check out that haul. And then later on, I'll tell you what um, the giveaway will be and how to enter. Um, we just wrapped up, well, after this live, we just wrapped up my first sale on my beads group and I learned a lot and <laughs> I will be applying that to my next sales. Um, oh, Carol, I'm sorry you can't stay the whole time. Um, so I learned a lot and then I'll start invoicing t today if I can and then through tomorrow night um, and then hopefully everything will get shipped by next weekend. Um, thanks, Janet. Good morning. So I have some, I don't know if this is the best color. Hi, Lorraine. Oh, I'm glad you like the colors. I don't know if this gray color is the best color. I have a bunch. It's, I'm using Eslon cord. That's S with, as in Sam. Um, I have a little stash of different colors. Let me see if I can put the box under here. So here's like the, all the different colors I have. Um, I have like white. I don't really want to do white. I don't have any green or red. Um, so I think I am going to stick with the gray. Thanks, Gail. I'm being very careful not to knock anything because my, uh, my studio is a hot mess. Hot mess. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a nightmare right now. So I, I really do need an assistant. <laughs> I can't pay an assistant, but I need one. So I'm going to start, um, by cutting a length of this Eslon cord. And there's a knot here, so I wanna make sure that I get the knot out before I start. You don't wanna start with a knot in your project. How's everybody's weekend going? I 
Oh boy. There we go. Um, and I don't know how much I'll need for a bracelet, but it's not going to be too terribly much. Um, necklaces, I always end up cutting way, 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 way more than I need because I never know how long I'm going to make the necklace. So I'm just going to cut a length of cord. And I have this needle. This came with actually my Amazon um, be uh, elastic cord. Um, but it's just a one of those flexible needles that has a huge hole in the middle. And I'm going to slip my cord in through the hole. And then I'm just going to pull the needle down to the middle of the strands. I'm going to double the strands and then um, put that in the middle. So thanks, Alicia. Okay. So I'm just going to move the needle down to the middle of the cord. Yeah, Brenda, I've only done a few lives. Um, I usually save, I just save them for when we hit a new thousand subscribers. Guys, can't believe the next one will be a huge milestone. It'll be, um, 5,000. <laughs> Lynn, I feel like that's all I ever do is reorganize my beads. <laughs> um, okay, so here we can make a choice. We can put our clasp on at this point, or we can wait till the end. Um, there's pros and cons to each one. Uh, if I put a clasp on now, I'm kind of stuck with it, and or I'd have to cut it off later and figure out what I want to do. But if I don't put a clasp on now, it could be a little harder to tie it on. However, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much. So I'm just going to keep a tail. Um, and I'm going to just make a knot at the end. And I'm going to slip that through. Hi, Kathy. And so now we have a, oh, that was kind of an ugly knot, but now we have a knot at the end. So our beads won't slip off. And um, you want to kind of decide your um, design before you start knotting because once you start knotting, it's hard to undo. So I'm going to set that aside for a little bit. We're going to figure out our um, pattern and then we can go from there and we'll start knotting. Um, so I rarely, there's a couple things I could do here. I could just do green and red and then go from there. But I did get out some spacers. These are a little big. Can I get out any other spacers? I have these rondelles. But the problem is I don't have any really tiny ones. Hm, let me look at my other spacer box. Because I want to do gold. I don't want to do silver. Sorry if I missed some of your comments. I'm kind of focused. <laughs> um, yeah, I think gray is better than the other one. We're gonna, Rebecca, we're gonna make a knotted bracelet. Uh, I'm trying to find spacer beads that I really want to use. Oh, I like these. Yeah, I do too, Kathy. Oh, these are cute. I kind of want it to look a little antique-y. I don't know. We'll see where it goes. I rarely end up where I started. Hi, Marie. I'm just looking in my spacer box at the moment. I'm sorry you guys can't see that, but it's huge, and I don't want to put it in front of the camera. <laughs> Thanks, Rebecca. Um, this is kind of cute. These, hi Norma. These bead frames. Um, I don't know what I want to do. I'm so indecisive today. Okay, let's just dig in. I have these spacers. I kind of like these a lot. Um, and I brought out somewhere some bead caps, depending on what we, hi Constance, what we make or what size beads we use. So I have 10 millimeter um, tiger eye and I have eight millimeter tiger eye. Eight millimeter are great for, um, oh, I believe you, Julia. It's too cold in Ohio to think today. Eight millimeters are good for um, 
mala necklaces but you know i think i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with the uh with the 10 millimeter today so i'm going to move the eight millimeter out of the way i'm gonna move everything to the side because it's too cluttered at the moment And I'm just going to take apart these. Thanks, Pam. You guys, it's not freezing here, but it was freezing in my house <laughs> because my heater wasn't working. And I, it was a brand new house, so I was like, why isn't the heater working? Um, the HVAC guy came and said, well, when you bought the house, there wasn't a um, gas line from, the, well, a hose from the gas line to the furnace, so it's not hooked up. And I said, oh my gosh. He said, I wasn't prepared for you not to have a gas hose, so I can't fix this. That was at three o'clock in the morning because it wasn't, because that's the only time they could get out here. So yesterday, the different company came, installed the line, and now it's working. Okay, so I have some 10 millimeter Tiger Eye. Um, I think I wanna put, one of these in the middle just to make it super pop. I have, let's see, I have these, but I don't know that these are small enough. These are bead caps. Um, let's see here. Uh oh, the needle was stuck on something, okay. Yeah, the builders are responsible for that. So, um, it, it was all under warranty and everything. I didn't have to pay for it to get fixed, but it was annoying. It was really annoying. Okay, so the problem that we'll have if I use these bead caps on the, um, with the knotting is that the bead cap hole is way too big. So unfortunately those are out. I could use a small spacer, but I don't wanna add all that bulk. Yeah, we're not quite up to 78, but we're, we're probably, 67 or so outside. Um, I don't know that this hole is even any better, but these, these don't work anyway. I don't know why I grabbed those. All right. So I'm trying to figure out how to get gold in this bracelet and it's not working. <laughs> I'm thinking. Okay, I guess we'll just we'll just end up using some of these. Okay, so let's just figure out our game plan here and then we can kind of get to it. Um, well, uh, that's a good idea, Kathy. <clears throat> I don't know if that I have any small gold Z beads and I wanted the small bead to be these crystals, which I didn't even check to see if the needle will fit through those crystals. So let's do that before we bank on them. Hmm does not because I have it doubled and then it needs to go over the needle so that's something you have to think about that's why I also have these bigger bicones yeah a gold sea beads would be really nice however I don't think I have any and they're all the way across the room if they if I do okay so <clears throat> the tools that you're going to need are obviously some kind of needle the Eslon cord or whatever cord, you could use silk cord, whatever, um, your, your beads. But I also, uh, the way I knot are these bead um knotting pliers. Um, a lot of people use tweezers. Some of them use the knot a bead uh, uh, tool. There's also the bead knotting tool. Uh, none of those have worked for me. Hi, Katie. This is the only one that has worked. And actually, I'm doing this video for Katie because she always asks for nodding. <laughs> so glad you glad you tuned in. So this is the tool that I use. Um, oh, congratulations on moving. It's the Beetleon um, pliers for, for nodding. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let's just kind of plan out our bracelet and then we'll start we'll start nodding because that's going to take up the most part of our time here. 
Okay, actually, it's so cute. It's already cute. <laughs> I just love this bead in the middle. It kind of reminds me of a Rudolph nose. <laughs> All right, so we'll get a couple of those. We'll put that guy in there. Maybe I do want to use... You know what? I think I do want to use the 8mm because those are just looking a little big. <clears throat> I can always use a 10mm for a necklace or earrings or whatever, a different type of bracelet. to sneeze <laughs> and it's not coming out <laughs> all right so what else everybody making for dinner today yes uh katie these are specifically for nodding they're by beetle Soup, chili, mm, those are all warm, warm day or cold day things, I should say. Okay, so I think this bracelet's gonna be <clears throat> very um, simple, but you know, that's okay. I'm just trying to figure out where else to put the gold. I don't like this bicone. Aw, sick boyfriend. I know I want chili, you guys. <laughs> snacks, yeah. Snacks happen with football. Okay. So I think I'm not going to do like, you know, sometimes you do a pattern where you sandwich some beads. I think I'm just going to go gold, green, red, gold, green, red. Until it's long enough. Ooh, I want chicken shawarma. I was actually thinking about that earlier today. One gold, green, red, gold, green, red. All right, so then I'll have to kind of measure this. I should have my bracelet board out, but we didn't do that today. We could switch it up, but all right, that is not going to be enough. Oh, I missed what somebody just said. Ooh, yummy. I love, um, like, buffalo chicken dip. That's amazing. Um, let's see. Okay, we're almost ready to get started. Thanks for hanging in there with me while I figured that out. This is not looking like too much right now. Ooh, chicken enchiladas. That sounds good. But, um... It will be. It will be really cute once we're finished. It'll be kind of a very small bracelet, but since we're using these nice beads, it'll last a long time. And it'll be nice to stack. I'm just kind of moving these up so I can just kind of gauge the length. I think we'll be okay. I think this will actually be a little bit too much once we get the clasp on there, but that'll be fine. Now I just want to make sure so the red is not in the middle. Four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so we're gonna get started. I actually load quite a few bead, beads on the, um, the needle or on the thread before I start, before I start knotting. Um, and if you want, I guess I could put a little, let's see what this guy looks like next to, oh, that's not the right color gold. Okay, I'm just gonna put on um, my bicone first. We already knotted the, the cord at the other end. Where's the hole in this bead? Okay, there it is. Oh, 
Oh, yay, Heidi. Heidi, I know you were looking forward to that. <laughs> okay, so I'm not going to move them all down, all the way down to the end. I'm just going to move one bead at a time while we're knotting, and then we'll go from there. So <clears throat> I push this bead up against the knot. Hi, Carol. And then I create another knot, or at least a, a loose knot. I haven't done this in a while, guys, so... <laughs> Hang in there with me. And then you take your um, knotting pliers or your um, uh, tweezers, whatever you're using, and you stick it through your knot. Sorry, this is really hard to do on camera. I didn't think about that. And you grab, a, you stick it through the knot like that, and then you grab above your bead, okay? And then I'm just gonna pull tight. So that gets the knot walked all the way down to the bead. And then you slowly slip off your uh, pliers or your tweezers or whatever you're using and tighten your knot. So there's our first part of our bracelet, our first knot in our bracelet. Then slide down your next bead. So that's why I said <clears throat> we're not doing a necklace because this can be tedious and it can take a long time. So we're gonna just keep doing it and you're really going to be here for the conversation during this <laughs> video instead because unfortunately like not like my regular videos I can't speed this up for you guys <laughs> so if we don't get it all finished that's fine we heard everybody's a lot of people are making chili really warm foods today that sounds yummy I don't know what the heck I'm gonna make all right and then you can use the next bead to kind of tighten that bead before it so just keep going like that. Take your pliers, slide it inside your knot. And I would be doing this a lot faster if I wasn't like trying to do this around a camera. It's a little bit rough and awkward, but I love talking to you guys. And I knew this was something we hadn't done before. So that's our pattern. And we'll just keep going. Oopsie. I really wish I had some Hunter Green um, <clears throat> Eslon cord, but that wasn't in the cards today. Oh, Heidi, I'm sorry to hear about your arm. Thanks, Ashley. I can't wait to, well, I'm not going to show you everything that the giveaway winner will win. <clears throat> but you guys are going to, oh, no, I messed up my pattern. <laughs> you guys are going to like it, hopefully like at least one thing. If you guys haven't already, I know I recognize several of you from my bead group, um, like Ashley and Katie and Heidi. Um, oh, that's cool, Katie. What colors did you get? Um, if you haven't, join my beat group. I love talking to you guys. We have quite a bit of fun over there. <laughs> um, so this is a lot of memes. <laughs> oh my God. It, you got six inches of snow yesterday? Um, you can do it without the tool. You can, um, use tweezers if you have tweezers. Um, or you can just... Uh, use regular pliers. These, um, the reason why I bought these is because I was at my wit's end. I couldn't not to save my life. And like I had been trying for years. The second I saw these, I was like, oh, maybe that'll help. Um, these pliers just have thinner um, end ends. So it's easier to get in by the knot. You can try using um, a regular pair of pliers or just try using a pair of tweezers. The, the, the result's going to be the same. <clears throat> this is just the easiest way for me. Yeah, it is a pain to walk the knot down if you do it with your fingers. I've tried. I gave up very quickly. And you can see that I'm messing up my pattern, so hopefully you guys, you can help me with that later. Yeah, I have a bunch. Of, I, well, I don't have a bunch. I think I have three of those four packs that I got from Hobby Lobby on 40% off, um, Katie. But I, I've been looking. I've been um, on 
Amazon and they have beautiful colors in these packs. I'm like, oh, girl, you don't need any more stuff. <laughs> I just had that huge sale in our group and it, it really filled up a bunch of boxes how much stuff I sold. Yes, the idea is to get really close to the bead. But guys, I didn't make a dent. I didn't even make a dent in the stuff that I have. So next sale will be bigger. It probably won't be as long, but it will have more stuff. But I'm going to be a little bit more prepared and pull more things. Yeah. I ha Heidi, I swear to God, I, I had so many different um, knotting things and none of them work. They're all just sitting in a pile. And this is the only thing that's worked for me. Although I think, I don't know that I ever tried, I think I did try tweezers and those didn't work very well just because they were a little flimsier and they didn't have grips. But I was also trying to use um, scrapbooking tweezers, so not knotting tweezers. So that could have been the problem too. But sometimes when I'm just sitting there zoned out, this goes really fast. And you guys can see I messed up my pattern, so I have to kind of figure out. We had four green beads. The bead all in, is that the one, <clears throat> is that just you using your hands and then like a stick, like a paper piercer looking thing, like a, that's what I call them, a needle tool? Gosh, we really messed, I, well we, I really messed that up. All right, so we had four. Okay, so I need another yet red, um, another gold. How did I mess that up so bad, guys? <laughs> I need another gold, red. Yeah, I bet, uh, Deanna, sorry. Green, gold. Red. And then we're almost half done with the bracelet. Once I get those finished up, oh, let me get this guy out of the way. Goldie's just sleeping away right next to me. She's the best dog. Not fussy at all. And then I just take my pliers and kind of run them down a little bit to get that knot tight. Yeah, I think I tried that, Lynn, and for some reason I was just like brain dead when it came to using any other tool. I think if I tried now, after I've been able to use the pliers, it might work a little better for me. But before these pliers, I really couldn't, couldn't do it at all. Also, Beetle On, if you're watching, you can sponsor me. That would be great. <laughs> I use a lot of beetle on tools. Oh goodness. I don't know why some of these are a little bit more awkward than the others. Okay. So there we go. This is so cute. This would actually make a really adorable necklace, but we don't have necklace time today. <laughs> uh oh, what did I miss Heidi saying? you're left-handed either that's cool Lynn um, if you end up using silk cord you want to make sure you pre-stretch that because it will stretch over time kind of like elastic cord um, and the silk packages usually come with a needle attached Okay. 
Okay, and just like that, we're half finished with our bracelet. See? So pretty. It's so pretty. I love simple things. I love really complicated things too, but I love really simple things sometimes because even though this is a simple pattern, it's still sparkly because of all those crystals. You all know I love sparkly. Guys, you you would be ashamed of me. I have <clears throat> five orders still sitting in the boxes. I mean, they've been coming in. I mean, some of them I've had for a week and I haven't opened them. And of course, I didn't just stop shopping. Um, oh, Diana, Diana needs to restring something. Yes, I did cho choose Christmas colors on purpose because it's almost Christmas. And I don't think I, oh, I do have a bunch of Christmas bracelets, but I don't have a knotted Christmas bracelet. Oh, there goes the bead for the day that flew across the floor. You're making yogurt? funny when you try doing something like live and on camera you do it completely well not completely differently but you're very aware of certain things like when I do this by myself I can just zone out and do it but now I'm like oh I have to need not faster <laughs> and then my brain gets mixed up and I don't know where I'm going okay so hi Kathleen Kathleen I saw your note on my uh Facebook group I'm just gonna hold it for you for when I'm finished with your bears okay you don't have to, I don't have to give it to somebody else. All right. Gold. Okay, so we're at gold, green, red. Okay, sorry, I lost myself for a second there. Yeah, I, I was thinking about doing <clears throat> a uh, Christmas blitz, but it takes a lot of prep. Gosh, I keep putting these on in the wrong order because I'm not paying attention. Um, sometimes when, you know, when I used to live in Cleveland and I had a lot of friends who loved Christmas bracelets, I would just get all of my green and red beads out and I have these section trays from the Dollar Tree. I have like the ones that hold are supposed to hold deviled eggs and the ones that are just supposed to hold, hold like fruits and vegetables and I would just put a different bead in each bin and I'd get like 30 or 40 different types of beads and then I just make a bunch of bracelets and it was so fun I think I will do a video like that but it, it wasn't going to be today I used to do that with Halloween bracelets too Oh no, I missed something somebody said. And then the other thing is, oh, here we go. I can move it. I can move the chat. I didn't even know that. Thank you, Brenda. So sweet. Oh, that's interesting. I never knew that one. Hi, Michelle. I'm making a bracelet, uh, Kathleen. We're, we're actually almost... We're a little bit over halfway finished. Um, and then we're gonna figure out the, the clasp situation. That's always my least favorite part about uh, knotted bracelets or necklaces is the clasp. These aren't the best by cones. They're from Michaels. They're not like Swarovski or anything. Oh, that one's broken. I don't like it. but they're cute enough. <laughs> okay, so I'll keep going. We need to check the length soon too. Yep, I'm using Eslon thread and then I'm using these Beetalon um, knotting pliers.
Yeah, you've been making a ton of trees. I've seen those. If you guys haven't checked up, uh, seen those, check out Kathleen's channel. She's making a bunch of trees. Um, tree of Life wire wrap things are really pretty. Yeah, is that silk, Michelle? Hi, Laura. Thank you. Yeah, Michelle, I, I have a couple of those. It, I don't, mine aren't Griffin. They're um, the type from Hobby Lobby, the house brand from Hobby Lobby. Um, I haven't really, I just haven't done that much nodding to, to, to know a lot the differences between silk and Eslon. We might not have made enough room on this or selected enough cord. That's why I always go with more than I need because I don't want to have to tie in more. That's the worst. And it's really, it's not fun. Oops. Thank you, Michelle. It can kind of get a little tedious once you're at this point where you're pulling the entire bracelet through, especially if you're doing like a really long mala necklace, but just keep your patience and kind of, it's nice to kind of go into a trance. <laughs> like I said several times, I just zone out and do these when I'm ready. Thanks, Kathleen. Yeah, I don't know that I have enough room or enough uh, thread here. But I'm not going to, I probably wouldn't tie on more because I'm not that great at it. Oh, goodness. Okay, there we go. I hope you guys can see okay. So I'm not really looking in the camera. I'm looking just at the project itself. Yeah, Michelle, when I add more, I always feel like I can tell exactly where I did it. And I don't love how it looks. Thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> All right, we have like one, two, three, six more beads. Hopefully we have enough room. Hi, Faith. Thank you. Oh, Faith Robin. Okay. Yeah, it's hard to it's hard to keep focus, Kathleen. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. Okay, it's getting a little hairy here because we're ending we're getting towards the end of the um, thread. I know it looks like I have a lot, but it's hard to not with just that little bit, and then that needle keeps stabbing me. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. Thanks, Gail. Um, no, these are uh, tiger eye. They're um, they're matte. You're welcome. You know, this is like the perfect winter project. You just kind of get snuggled in your blanket, get a little bowl of be beads, and then start nodding. Lo I love making these with bead soup because the I just feel like the, uh, well, I love bead soup anyway. Um, 
it's my favorite kind of soup, but it, I, it, I just feel like it makes everything look more, um, classy when it's knotted. <laughs> All right, I think I think this might be a little long. Let me measure it before I keep going. Yeah, darn it, I made it too long. Okay, so the what we're gonna do is the this is not gonna be directly in the center. But I guess who's only I'm the only one who's gonna know that, and all of you guys. But you're not gonna watch me wear my bracelet daily. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna grab a clasp and I actually really want to use that rob that rose clasp but I don't know where they are they're in this jungle that I call my desk it's really it's it's really a hot mess it's so bad um, I'm gonna keep looking for them for just a moment here and if I can't find them then we'll oh oh oh, oh. woohoo okay I found them I just think this is really cute for Christmas. Okay. I'm going to slide this last set of three off. Well, then if I did that, Faith Robin, my, um, I just feel like my bracelet wouldn't be, well, I guess I could do that. But then I have to figure out how to unknot all of these. And I'm okay with it being lopsided. <laughs> but I guess right, if you were making this to sell, yes, absolutely, I would do that. Her um, suggestion was to take off the same amount on this side and add some on the other side but we're doing live today so we're just gonna go with the flow now i have to figure out remember how i normally knot these guys please forgive me if this is not the way you would do it that that's totally fine but it's the way it's gonna happen today um i have GS hypo cement somewhere around here. Um, you could do a uh, barrel knot here to keep this on. Normally, I would do something like that if I was using leather. Um, you can always just take both cords and start do a and not around them that way, but let me see here. Sorry, forgive me guys. I'm just kind of testing out. I haven't done one of these in a while and I usually put the clasp on before I start with the beads. for my barrel nut feed. If this doesn't work, that's fine. We're just going to tie it on. But I wanted it to look a little nicer. Nope, this isn't going to work. It's not as easy as leather, and I don't want to do it online. <laughs> I should have chosen an easier project for live, guys. All right. Um, I'm just going to do... This is what you don't see in my videos, for sure.
I'm still here. I'm sorry. I'm really thinking about this. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. I know some of you are probably cringing. I am stressed. <laughs> Yeah, well, after that guy left that horrible comment, you know, I'm a little stressed, but it's okay. Sorry, I'm just working out the other side. Give me one second, guys. Normally, this would be cut out in the video. <laughs> Michelle, if you if you go to my bead group, you'll see it. <laughs> we talked about it at length there. Okay, so what I did was I slipped this over. This is the um, toggle. Um, slipped it onto my beading needle, and then I went back through again once. And then, yeah, he was a dork. And then <laughs> um, I'm just going to do the exact same thing, and then we're going to tie it off. This is why, guys, put your clasp on before you put start your bracelet, and you wouldn't have this problem. Okay. So there's this side, the side's finished. I'm just gonna cut really, well, I'm gonna use my uh, cement, GS Hypo Cement and coat the knot and then we'll let it sink in. And then we'll trim that later. Yeah, clamshells are a good idea too. Actually, I could probably go grab one of those. I thought about that last night. I can't believe we forgot about that. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take this. It'll be fine um, if you were late. We just It'll be recorded and then you can um, watch it on the replay. All right, so I would just um, do another knot here, but this will end up sliding off if I do something like that. Um, I wish I could do a barrel knot, but it's just a little too close quarters here because it's such small thread. Okay. All right, so I cut this guy off. Well, I'm gonna cut this guy off. And then I'm gonna grab my needle again. Yeah, me too, Brenda. <laughs> okay, so we got the end of this back on. Well, I didn't think of it while well, it was off. Let's see if I can get this off. Yeah, it should be fine. Actually, I don't need to get it back off. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing that I just did on the other end. I put it through the clasp first, and then I'm going to put it back through on the other side. 
and bring it through again. So it's through twice. And then we're going to just do the knot like we did on the other side. Ouch, I just got stabbed by this guy. So it, it's already on there twice. Oh, ooh, we almost had a huge mistake. I have an unpopular uh, um, opinion about Swarovski crystals, but I think they're beautiful. I just don't use them. Sorry, I was replying to a comment there. Well, Kathleen, we'll have another one. We'll have another sale. Sorry, I'm trying to get this to go through here. For as good momentum as we had at the beginning of this video, I feel like the end of this video is a hot mess. All right, let's start over. We did it. <laughs> Celebrate the small wins. Okay, so going through here, but up against our thing. Tie our knot. We'll coat that with glue. Oh, that's good, Chris. Um, yeah, that's that's just the way I do it. You don't have to have it doubled. It's stronger to me that way. And it makes the knots between the beads larger. So um, if we have larger hold beads, like I guess if you're using pearls, you don't want to double it. But these beads are much have much larger holes. Okay. All right, so... That is done, thankfully. Sorry about the uh, hot mess express with the class, but I actually really like how it turned out. So there's our clasp, and there's our cute little Christmas bracelet. Aren't those pretty? Um, lamp work beads, I, those are hit and miss. Uh, Lima beads has them. Um, shipwreck beads has them. Lots of different places. Um, so here we go. Here's our bracelet. So cute. I will definitely, well, I don't have anywhere to go for Christmas, but <laughs> I will definitely be wearing this around the house for Christmas. So, and if you want to make your life a lot easier, yes, you can make it into a, a stretchy bracelet. <laughs> Sorry about the hot mess with the clasp, but this clasp is not going anywhere. It's not coming undone, and it'll be on the bottom of your wrist. It'll be fine. But yes, uh, the, the suggestion for clam, uh, clamshells is a very good one. Um, okay, so for the giveaway, we are going... I was going to design a necklace, but we're already at an hour, so I might design one. I, I was going to show you guys... I have earrings that I buy from different places. These came from Walmart a couple years ago, and I was just gonna use like this bottom charm as a pendant or maybe this one or one of these. So I might make a ma matching necklace using one of these as a charm. Ooh, I also have a black one. So that could be a little Gothic Christmas or something. So, and then you have these left over to make your own earrings with, and they're just fancy, um, your uh, studs. So anyway, for the giveaway, tomorrow I'll post a video and it'll, it might be an unboxing, I'm not sure. And um, you'll be able to enter the giveaway in that video, not this one. But um, the winner of the giveaway, it's going to go for a week and I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you guys all about how to enter that tomorrow in that video. But you're going to win this Zuni Bear 
that I made earlier in the week. He's not finished. I have to drill holes in the, the head and the, the tail and I have to um, seal him, but it's a bracelet bar. So um, the winner will win this and a matching um, bead kit to go with it to make whatever you'd like. So probably lots of or similar beads to the ones that were in the video where I made that donut necklace. So stay tuned. Tomorrow will be the giveaway video and the winner will get this cute little bear and some beads. Uh, thanks so much everybody for sticking in there with me. That was a rough ride, but <laughs> I really, really had fun making this and I'm going to enjoy this for several years to come. So I hope you guys all have a fantastic weekend and stay tuned for tomorrow. Make sure you check out my bead group too. Brittany's Bead on Facebook. Bye everybody.